so I've been meaning to do this for a while. I'm going to show you how I hoop a Gen 2 Hoop Tech or a Hoop Tech Gen 2 cap frame. I'm using unstructured hats, just, I don't know, two something ounce backing tear away. Um, so let me get my camera situated here and I'll show you what I'm doing. Now, I like to do everything from a sit seating or sitting position. First things first, you gotta get this in. And the way you do this is with both of your fingers here, you slip that under and then leave some slack in here. Do the same thing over here. You slip that in behind. Those are little keepers that hold this in place. And then you pull that, okay? Next, you wanna break the hat, flatten it. So now I've, I've taken it from, you know, out of the box it looks like this, and you need to remove this. I don't even know why they put this in here. It's trash, so throw it away. Um, so anyway, you need to break the bill and flatten it. When you're done, you can squeeze it a little bit and put the curve back in it. So breaking it's not a big deal. And then you need to pull this out. Oh, there's that more of that trash. And you really gotta pull that out because you gotta, you gotta get this out of the way or you're gonna sew on it. And then you set this in here. And you pick up, with your right hand, you pick up this and just set it in there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make sure this is out of the way and I'm gonna try and bring the center seam to here and get my hat square on here. Now I'm going to apply just a little bit of pressure, bring this over with one hand, and clip this and pull it. Okay, you are not done. Now is where the magic starts. Now you want to grab the hat by the, the button on the top of it and pull hard. You ain't going to hurt this thing. Then you want to pull over here. You're trying to get all of the wrinkles out of the hat. It's got clips here that will hold the hat, okay? Then, with your two hands, you just come under here, drop that out, you're done, okay? So let me show you what this looks like, and when I release these, you'll see I did it away, because this has got a bunch of sharp crap in it. So this is what this looks like in normal speed for me. goes off to production. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in your endeavors to do embroidery. Have a great day.